Hi, everybody. Uh, it's been a long weekend, uh, a lot of work, and I uh, have to stop out for comic book day. I haven't got to show anything I got there yet, and uh, so I thought I'd put together a video today before I head back to work. Um, here's the stuff I got for free on free comic book day, and, and this is, a, I think this may be the first free comic book day I've done. Um, didn't get Mouse Guard, which was really one I wanted. I saw uh, a few of your guys' videos. You had Mouse Guard, and it really uh, looked neat, the hardcover. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can't find one. Somebody has some more, and they uh, want to discard a little bit. Here's what I got uh, this is uh, an image uh, image book. With, uh, I think it's just some mythology of different things. I haven't read this one yet. Valiant with uh, the Exo Man of War. I'm, I'm really kind of excited about some of this Valiant stuff. I haven't read any of it yet. Um, I guess they're going to be releasing you know, a new title every month, so I'll probably pick up the first few of those uh, to see what they're like. Uh, the new 52 the DC free book. I haven't checked this one out yet either. Witchblade. Um, this is a, I have part of the Top Cow universe. I haven't read any of the Witchblade yet, and I read this uh, last night, and I really liked it. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, you know, these are kind of, I guess, just teasers to let you know what the story's about, but uh, I haven't really read anything in the Top Cow universe, and I really liked uh, uh, this. Uh, this looks good. Let me start picking up some Witchblade. Spider-Man. Um, I haven't collected Spider-Man since I was a kid, but I thought I'd pick up, uh, you know, Free comic book day issue to see what it was about. It was just a retelling of the origin of the story. Um, so, isn't that great? Uh, but I read this one last night also. Uh, here's something you know, probably only at the comic book shop that I went to that you'll find. It's um, I go to a place called The Encounter in, uh, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, which is really good if you ever get a chance to go. Um, this is uh, Laughing Boy Team Up. Uh, Laughing Boy Comics. They've got a site, laughingboy.com. LaughingBoyComics.com. Uh, it's some local artists, uh, so I picked this up. I haven't really checked it out that much. I kind of flipped through it. Um, it's pretty neat. You know, local artists, you know, you want to support them, so I want to see what they had, and then maybe check out some of their stuff down the road. And then I also got this Lady Death. Again, uh, this is something that I've seen. I've, I've never read. Um, this, I think, is like um, the first like, issue. Uh, the first, uh, the first part of the first trade paperback, anyway, kind of gives the origin story of Lady Death. Uh, this wasn't bad. Uh, I, I may try to pick up an issue or two of this uh, later on and see if I like it or not. Um, but that's it for the new books I got. So I waited until Free Comic Book Day to go pick up my my full list uh, comics too, so I could kind of get all at the same time. I knew I was going to end up spending money on Free Comic Day, so uh, I figured I would just make it one trip instead of going and picking up my books and getting uh, Wednesday and getting extra stuff, then going on Free Comic Book Day and getting extra stuff, and then getting yelled at later on by my wife. So <laughs> this is the stuff I got this week. Um, XO Man of War. Um, I haven't read this one yet. This is, uh, I'm actually probably going to read this tonight. This looks really cool to me, like I said. I'm excited about the value and stuff. Uh, Dial H. Um, read this one last night. This one is, is pretty interesting. Uh, when it started out, I was kind of like, I don't know about this. I, I really didn't know much of the story. I didn't know what it was about. Um, but basically, this guy, he uh, gets in this uh, phone booth. And you can dial uh, a number and it changes them into a different, uh, or it gives them different powers. And so he's going after these guys. Um, it sets up a lot of stuff for, for later issues, so I'll probably pick up the next few issues of this and see if I like it or not. Uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, Epic Kill. Um, this one I read, I. I don't know if I like it or not. Um, it's it's kind of the way that the the dialogue and, and that is written in it. It's really not that good, I don't think. But the story itself is kind of interesting. I kind of want to know what happens, so I'll 
account if uh, I think this is only four it's a, a one of five. So I'll I'll probably pick all these up unless the ne- if the next issue's bad then I won't get any more but other than that uh, I'll stick with it for a little while. Alright, and then so I went to some of the dollar boxes and fifty cent boxes and just check out some stuff. Uh, I got uh, some Batman. And this is issue five sixteen. Um, I read these last night also. Uh, I think I read like ten comic books last night. Uh, I the art in these at first I had I mean these are from ninety five I think. I was a little iffy about and um, I, I guess maybe I'm still a little sensible, but it but it's uh, the covers are neat. It's just the interior art's kind of uh, all the same. It's it's just not what I'm used to in Batman. I guess. Uh, but the story's pretty good about uh, the sleeper. You can check these out. I'm sure you can find them at 50 cents a dollar anywhere. Uh, pretty good. 516, 517. I really like this cover. I don't know why. I just think it's pretty cool. Uh, that was the conclusion of the sleeper. And then this one, I've got uh, 518. And uh, this one wasn't uh, too bad either. So, definitely worth a dollar. Then I got this uh, World's Finest. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, issue uh, 220 of World's Finest. Uh, this is a pretty good story, too. I, I don't think I've read the World's Finest or I uh, had. It's been years. And I really uh, I enjoyed it um, for a dollar again, so <clears throat> couldn't uh, pass that up. Um, Marvel Comics presents Wolverine. Uh, this is issue one. I know I had this at some point. Uh, this may actually be a second copy, but uh, Saw it and I thought I'd pick it up because I always liked Wolverine when I was younger. And then I had to get uh, a John Size Man thing. I've, I've got a John Size Man thing now. And uh, I've never read the Man thing. I just saw this and uh, I had it as a buck and I didn't pass it up. But uh, then I decided I've, I've been thinking about what, what older comics I want to collect. I've got, um, you know, a decent amount of Amazing Spider-Man. I liked the X-Men pretty well when I was younger. You can get the Avengers, Fantastic, all these Marvel vitals. Uh, I've been looking into getting some old Batman. Uh, didn't know where I wanted to go with it. I've liked the new Conan the Barbarian series, so they have a lot of the older uh, 70s Conan the Barbarian at uh, the encounter. I, I thought that I would go there. <coughs> And uh, start picking up some third titles since I was there. So um, I got this one. This is issue um, 35 of uh, Conan the Barbarian. And issue 55. They pretty much got a um, full run of the series from issue probably 20 on. And um, hopefully I'll try to put together a full run of those. So that's uh, kind of what I got um, for comic book day on Saturday. And um, I'll put together something uh, new on Wednesday because I'll be getting my new comic book uh, books for this week. I think I've got quite a few new ones coming out this week. I think there's Walking Dead, quite a few others anyway. Uh, so hopefully Wednesday I'll have something put uh, together and uh, upload it for you guys to look at. And, uh, Please uh, subscribe, like, leave comments, all that fun stuff. Thanks.